Let's get terrestrial. Well, folks, it's time to kick it old school. Uh, so you can feel cool. <laughs> Give it to me, baby. <laughs> baby. <laughs> yeah. Hello, everybody. How are you doing? Hope it's going well for you. So today we're going to get terrestrial. Now, a little over a year ago, I ended up doing a video of a terrarium, or well, I should say my very first terrarium, and ended up using a bunch of stuff that was actually from my backyard. Now, I did end up putting some bacopa in it because I wanted some extra bacopa. Never even touched the thing. So this thing's been sitting pretty much that whole time. Yeah, so let's check it out. But here it sits between these two 40 gallon tanks. As you can see, it's got some cobwebs on it. It's definitely been sitting here for some time. But it has been growing ever since I pretty much made it. I, I think I opened it a couple times just to show people on live streams back in the day. But you can see it has grown all the way to the top of the lid. And this is mostly Bacopa it looks like. So let's take this down and open it up. Now I can't remember what size of jar this is, but it was like the biggest glass one I could get at Walmart. I mean, it's fairly big. My hand's not real small, but it is fairly big. You can see how it actually tried to climb its way out. Look at that growth in between the rim. That's pretty gnarly. You can see how it's dying as it started hitting the air. That's crazy. It's definitely trying to grow up and all right so let's open this up wow look how green it is beautiful it smells really good too surprisingly it smells really good now these bacopa trimmings would be great to put in a fish tank and they all change over there's another plant in here i'm not sure what this is i think this come from the backyard i'm not sure what plant it is i can't really get that deep into it without really disturbing it a whole lot and having to trim it but i did leave a big piece of wood in there we got rocks there's a little bit of moss growing up on the side there looks like pilo moss kind of Smells really good. That growth is super green. Look at this root system. It's a pretty basic setup. I just put some Eco Complete down and then just got dirt from the backyard and stuck that in there. A couple layers. Looks like it does have some worms in it. Maybe. This could be roots. Here you can see roots growing off the side of it. clean off the glass see what that does yeah it definitely looks better with the glass clean you can actually see i left a walnut in there to see if that tree would go but it ended up taking pretty neat though i i mean i could easily get into this kind of thing too but since i already have enough to manage it wasn't very easy to clean behind that wood so let's go ahead and take a couple pieces of this uh, Bacopa. Try that in a tank. So stay tuned, keep watching. I'll probably show this in a tank here at some point. But yeah, I thought I'd do a quick update, show you guys how it grew. I mean, it's pretty much low to no maintenance. Added a little bit of water whenever I first started. Added some water up to here. And then it's just constantly cycled itself and created its own environment no ferts no nothing just pulling whatever from the dirt and turning it into plants is pretty wild how nature really works 
Whenever I get some more time too, I'll probably take a bunch of this out and trim it. Like I could pull this huge mat out and just give it a trim. Let more bacopa grow up and kind of redo it. Just see where it goes. I think that would be cool. What do you guys think? Think I should trim it up, take some time sometime? See if I can't get it to look good. Even though it already looks cool. Man, yeah, I could take all this out. But I want to find a home for this. Which I don't have yet. I'm just going to float a couple of these pieces in the QT tank. Because since, I don't know if there's worms in here, I doubt they're aquatic. But either way, better safe than sorry. Alright, well I hope you guys enjoyed that update. Worst comes worse if you didn't. At least I got the cobwebs off of it and inspired me to maybe get back into it. I'm really digging it. Now it's got room to grow. I didn't even cut any out. It just kind of settled there. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm kind of digging terrariums. They're pretty cool, and you can make them out of pretty much anything. You can just go out in the backyard, collect some stuff, throw them in a jar like that. And I do have a more in-depth video, which I will tag here at the end, and you guys can check that out. If So if you liked it, hit the like button. If you didn't, hit the dislike button. And if you do hit the dislike button, it never hurts to tell me why you hit the dislike button. Because, hey, that's how we grow and how I know. Not a mind reader. So like, share, all that jazz. Thanks for watching. Till next time. Peace.